Dirk, uh, as a theologian who has focused on cosmology, how do you deal with the concept of beginning? Some would say that the universe must have a beginning if there were a God who was the creator from nothing. Others would say that's not necessary because God is the reason for the creation and the creation could have been eternal in time. Yeah. There is a traditional distinction between God as the cause of the world or God as the reason of the world, causa or ratio in, in Latin. And I would say that uh, if God is the reason of the world, it's the fundamental ground of being, then it is not necessary to think of a beginning uh, of the universe in order to think of God as the creator. He can be the eternal reason of an eternal uh, creation. I think it is not absolutely necessary. But physics seems to suggest that at least there's a certain kind of beginning of our cosmos as we have it. That distinction seems enormously important, uh, not uh, doesn't matter one way or the other. Uh, uh, I mean, there, there ha there, there's a deep significance to whatever reality is. It would seem like that question is, is right at the core of it. How can we so uh, simply say, well, one way or the other, sort of doesn't matter? <laughs> um, it is also not very clear how can we really grasp the idea of a starting point, of an absolute beginning? What should that mean? Nothing before it? Does time end there? Does time begin? How is, already the term to begin is a temporal term. Mm -hmm. So I think we do not have a real clear distinctive notion of an absolute beginning. So I would say it is a rather question that cannot be absolutely decided. What does it mean? A real beginning. Even if you refer to um, Big Bang cosmology, some would say, okay, before that there was some kind of uh, quantum effect in the void or something. Yeah. Uh, so you always have to presuppose something out of which this beginning arises. Mm -hmm. And I think that leads to nothing. Uh, Immanuel Kant, for example, explained it that way, that there is a, a paradox that you cannot dissolve either into this uh, or that answer. Yeah. If we assume that God is the reason for an eternal universe, which you find completely consistent with an idea of God, uh, it seems like that emulsifies God into uh, sort of a, uh, uh, a wispy thing that is, is rather amorphous, because if you could have God being the cause of this thing that always existed, well, the thing itself is always existing, it's its own cause. I mean, there's no, no difference between the universe always existing and the u universe always existing because God is the cause. It seems like that's just an added term that means nothing. Yeah, uh, that's indeed a, a problem. <laughs> it, it, but it's only a problem if you would say that uh, the universe, the cosmos, is something that is always uh, more or less the same. But uh, the cosmos shows a very deep and fundamental uh, development. And even if I would say there uh, might have been something before what we now see as the beginning of our cosmos, and maybe there have been other universes before that, and maybe that in eternity, uh, it still uh, sh leaves open the question, what does this cosmos as we have it now, in which we are mm -hmm. existing, uh, out of which we arise, what does that have for a meaning, and how is that related to, to the ground of being? So what is your theological stake in the question of the origins, or the cause, or the reason mm -hmm. for the cosmos? I would say God is the, the ground of being, uh, is the reason uh, for being and the reality which with, with which we deal, for example, in sciences, uh, but also in our everyday li day life, that is a transitory creation that has a kind of start and beginning out of which complexity arises in a very long and very complex and uh, complicated process and uh, whose fate we do not know, uh, actually. Uh, so I would say that there's both. There's a, there's a f philosophical notion as God as the fundamental reason of reality as such, 
and God as re referring and relating to a process um, through which we ourselves came into existence and which is transitory, has a beginning and goes towards a future, which is uh, something we do not really know.